Super Sweet Sniper Wolf, an incredibly original YouTuber who reacts to TikToks. Ew, crossbreeding? I know. Now, Sniper Wolf's videos are actually really cool. I know it might sound simple to the unintelligent minds, but just take a look. Grandma meets boyfriend for the first time. <laughs> so she asked for a picture, but no, he's actually here and he brought her flowers. Oh, Grandma's so excited. Grandma's so excited to meet him. Oh my God, he's real, he exists. Wow, Shakespeare is shaking in his grave right now because that was some pure literary creativity. So, Sardine Salmon Sniper Wolf, real name Alaya Mariana Trench Shalash, is a 31 year old YouTuber born in the United Kingdom. Actually, the day this video is uploaded is her birthday. So Sniper Wolf, if you're watching, happy birthday. Th this video is my gift to you. So Sniper Wolf is one of the larger YouTubers with over 34 million subscribers. And as you can see, based on that ratio, people love her. Just take a look at all the positive comments she receives. Can we all appreciate how well Sniper Wolf breaks the law? Can we appreciate how creative Sniper Wolf is with their tactics? Filming someone and going to their house is very creative. Seriously, we can all appreciate how Sniper Wolf never fails to... Hold on, guys, my doorbell just rang. I guess we'll never know. So Sniper Wolf's been a large topic of discussion among commentators and people in the gaming community. She started off her channel as a girl gamer, but faced growing criticism of people calling her out for faking her gameplay. And it was kind of a big deal because people would go to her channel and be like, ooh, a girl, and she's good at video games? Subscribe. She talked about the allegations, made videos about it, and denied it all. But recently, something just happened which confirmed everyone's suspicions. So Sniper Wolf's had a husband, his name is Evan Sausage, real name Evan John Young, and they were together for about a decade. But Sniper Wolf was shocked when she got hit in the face with something other than that young sausage for once, a lawsuit. Now a lawsuit might seem boring to some, but this lawsuit, it's everything. Literally, Evan filed a lawsuit against Sniper Wolf and is arguing that he has essentially done everything for the SS Sniper Wolf YouTube channel. So in the lawsuit, he states that although they're legally married, they officially broke up in September 2022. So a bit of background, Nalaya used to have a channel called Sexy Sexy Sniper Wolf, Weird name, I know, but that's where the whole SS Sniper Wolf comes from. Anyway, so Eli and Evan were dating and Evan proposed creating a new channel called SS Sniper Wolf. In January 2013, Eli agreed to Mr. Sausage's business proposal and on July 19th, he officially created the channel. Creating this channel, they mixed their biographical information, they used Eli's first name, birthday, and gender, and used Evan's last name and contact information. And they agreed to split the channel's revenue 50-50 because, get this, while Eli was the pretty face of the channel, Evan did the behind the scenes work, including screen script writing, directing, editing, and posting the videos to the channel. Evan was even the one who played the games and recorded the footage, essentially creating a script for Sniper Wolf to read and pretend she was the one playing the games. Now this is crazy because people have long suspected Sniper Wolf of faking her gameplay, but this lawsuit reveals that Sniper Wolf may have been faking everything. So in the lawsuit, Evan says that he essentially formed the SS Sniper Wolf channel. And why this matters is because as soon as the two of them broke up, Sniper Wolf created four new channels, including Sniper Wolf Top Videos and Sniper Wolf S and just take a look at these views, they're crazy. As of the date this lawsuit was filed, the channels have accumulated over 100 million views and made over $1 million in estimated revenue. That is a lot of money and what Evan is asking for is half of it. Now I just took a look at her top videos channel to get a more live estimate and the channel currently has over 200 million views, translating to about $2 million. So what this means is that if Young Sausage Fs her up the ass, he'd be awarded one million dollars. And I don't mean F her up the ass literally, I mean like F her up in this trial, you know, like like this lawsuit, like destroy her in this lawsuit. I just had to get the record straight because I don't want Sniper Wolf mad at me and showing up to my house. So things just keep getting worse for Sniper Wolf. It feels like Colin Ballinger and the whole toxic gossip train all over again. The lawsuit was bad enough, but what Sniper Wolf recently did is a big no-no. So there's a YouTuber by the name of Jack Films, and he's one of the platform's OGs. Getting jiggy with it. Getting jiggy with it. He later went on to win a Grammy for that heart-wrenching song. Sniper Wolf technically does reaction videos, except there's not much reacting. It's essentially just her on one side, the clip on the other, and she's just repeating what's being done in the video. My kid's first time seeing her new house. <laughs> they just moved into a new house, they each have their own room, and they are so grateful. So Jack took his critique of Sister Sniper Wolf to a whole new level by creating a new channel called Jack's Films, where he essentially imitates Sister Sniper Wolf. Got an entire bear. Aren't 
brown bears the dangerous ones? Yeah, the grizzly bears. A bro has a whole grizzly bear in his kitchen. Yes. Bro certainly does have a whole ass grizzly bear in his kitchen. We are very observant today, aren't we? That is absolutely what is happening in this TikTok that you definitely didn't steal. Something that Jack has strongly stood for is crediting the creators of the TikTok. If you want to support the original creators of the TikToks, uh, too bad, because the only links you'll find in the description are all Sniper Wolf. And my favorite part is that half of the TikTok she includes either crop out the original username or just straight up don't have one. To use a recent example from just three days ago, she features 19 videos, 13 of which don't have any identifiable usernames. That means there's no way to find and support the original creators here. All of the views and all of the revenue go straight to Sniper Wolf. Especially because the entertainment value from her videos comes from these TikToks themselves, considering the fact that she just sits there and doesn't say much at all. In his reaction videos, he finds the creators that she reacted to and links them in the description because at the end of the day, shouting them out is the least you can do, considering the fact that without them, you wouldn't have any content. Anyways, this criticism has made her absolutely furious. It's unleashed the wolf in her because on October 14, Sniper Wolf went out to look for some blood. Should I go visit Jack Films? He lives five minutes away from my shoot. Let's talk like adults, Jack Films. <laughs> Oh boy, that's a big no-no. Sniper Wolf's the type of person who shows up your home like a damn kangaroo simply because you criticize your videos. This is Australia's most iconic kickboxer. Meet the kangaroo, the buff marsupial. Kangaroos are four marsupials in the family Macropodidae. Just imagine someone with a criminal record for armed robbery and disorderly conduct shows you up to your home out of nowhere and asks you to talk. No, 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 no. And not only that, but shares a photo of your home to their over 5 million Instagram followers. That's crazy. So following the Instagram story, obviously Jack was not happy at all. He tweeted out, Sniper just doxed me on her IG. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers. At YouTube, demonetize this dangerous creator or just get her off your platform. She posted an IG story right outside our home and deleted it. Jack went out to make a few other tweets and made a YouTube video calling for YouTube to take action because this type of behavior cannot be allowed. The internet is outraged, her comments are flooded with stuff like this, and despite all of it, it's been a week and YouTube still has done nothing. So an update as I'm editing, YouTube finally made a response and all they are doing is temporarily demonetizing Sniper Wolf. But the thing is, I took a look at her top videos channel and that one is still monetized. So it's only her main one being demonetized, but she can still make income from her second channel. So is she really being punished for what she did to Jack? Not really. Now Sniper Wolf did make a response to this and tweeted out basically apologizing to Jack, but honestly, I do not buy this. The fact that she waited until now and all of a sudden switched sides acting like she's in the wrongs as soon as she got this punishment, it just does not seem genuine. Now, honestly, I don't like pulling the gender card, but I feel like if the rules were reversed, the situation would be a lot different. Now just imagine if Jack films a man showed up to Sniper Wolf, a woman's home, unannounced and asked to talk. I hate pulling that card, but I feel like the situation would be so much different and YouTube would be taking this a lot more seriously. Now the funny thing about this is that Sniper Wolf posted another story and had the audacity to ask if she should get a restraining order on Jack when she he was the one who showed up to his home unannounced. This dude is just like low-key harassing me. Like, should I get a restraining order? And what's even funnier is that after showing up to his home and posting it online, Sniper Wolf called Jack the creep. Hmm, I mean, let's not forget that Sniper Wolf is a creep who lied about her age to an underage girl who flashed her melons. How old are you? Oh, 16, I'm 15. Oh, you're just like a year older than me. That's pretty cool. Wanna show each other? Sure. Yeah, I'll show you my beat. Oops. You first. I'm shy. Oh, damn. You and no matter the fact that it says a person may have been using a simulated camera, enabling this behavior, it's wrong. And let's not forget that Sniper Wolf is a creep who had two clearly underage boys shake their booty to see some of Sniper Wolf's melons. You also got clips of Sniper Wolf being racist. Why is he different? Who is he? I don't know. Why is he? No, just look at him. Oh. Look, he's like, 
You got the whole controversy of Sniper Wolf ignoring the dying cancer patient's wish and so much more. And despite all this, people still want a taste of Sniper Wolf's leftover meat. I found this person on Twitter who says, what Sniper Wolf has done is not that bad and the internet is just looking for reasons to hate on women. When you bring in gender to a legal and human rights argument, that's how you know you have nothing to back up your claims. And that just goes to show you what a power imbalance does to someone. Sniper Wolf, I mean, she's a pretty woman. This person on Twitter was probably a lot younger than Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf has a lot of money, a lot of fame, and people will be oblivious to any actions, any behavior, anything that deceives their perfect image of their idol. I really wanna know what your thoughts on the Sniper Wolf controversy is, so leave a comment down below, let's start a discussion. If you were both educated and entertained by my video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But anyways, that's officially gonna do it for this video, so until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Okay, bye. Have a good time.